Hey there, let's look at how we can get the raw SQL query from an eloquent model and query builder in just a few steps. Let's start off with the first one. Here we have a simple query using the eloquent model. We can make use of db enable query log method to enable the query log. Let's import this class and then uh, we can bind them the db get query log and this will give us detailed information about the query and its execution time let's find out refresh the page and as you can see we have the raw query with um, the ID binded to the value of 29 and the execution time in milliseconds. As a side note, we can log as many queries as we want. Let's duplicate this query and let's change the values and see how the die and dump looks like. As you can see, we have multiple arrays with detailed information about each query that's awesome now let's go ahead and find out how to get a raw sql from a query that is built with query builder let's delete this and paste this in here we have the same query as before to get a raw sql we can use the to sql method let's refresh the page and see the result all right so we have the raw query, but we're missing the data binding, which kind of sucks. Let's fix that. Let's remove the to SQL method and the die and dump function and create a new query variable. Then we can use die and dump um, with str uh, and replace array method. And we are gonna replace the question mark. And we have the query get bindings. And then query to SQL as before. And now we should have the binding. Let's refresh the page. And exactly. Alright guys, that was it. I hope you enjoyed the video and stick around this channel because I will post more zero-cost tutorials like this one. If you have any feedback, comments or concerns, leave them in the comments section and I'll do my best to respond to all of them. See you in the next one.